today's vlog. So uh, basically, today um, I've replaced the fans on that graphics card that I told you about. Uh, basically, they broke. I tried a super glue in attempt, and the graphics card's there. Uh, so we're gonna do a little test right now. So here we go. <laughs> So I think I have everything plugged in. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Uh, don't forget to switch it on first. Always leave it for a few seconds to gain power. And let's three, two, one. The fans are spinning. The fans are spinning, and it's alive! Woo! It's a fucking live. Now we're gonna figure out something. Fifty degrees. This one, much better, much healthier, 29 degrees. And you see, my GTX 770, bit old, a bit of an old card. And now let's see if my clock speeds are back, which they are. So we're gonna restore these clock speeds. And my clock speeds are back. This is a lot better card, it's a lot better looking card too. This thing, this card loads at 50. That card over there idles at 50. Uh, the max I've seen out of this card is probably about 60 degrees, but see this temp, the GPU temps are really, really low, and I'll, I'm loving this. So, just before I end this vlog, I need to tidy up and. Uh, I'm going to have a little talk with you guys about the upcoming or yet to be revealed iPhone 8. Now the iPhone 8, um, I'm quite intrigued by because it's going to have a new OLED display and Apple are really, really creeping behind on the display market as we're still using LCD displays. And I'm just currently editing a video for my other channel right now um, about this video and I'm going to link that video in the description because I think the iPhone 8 is a great step up and I also promote this channel on that channel too uh, so I'm going to actually insert the clip from this video that video um, about the new iPhone 8 so I'm going to tidy up and you guys can watch me I guess thank you Hey guys, what's up? Um, so many years ago, I made a video, um, and I haven't done this for a while. I haven't actually uploaded for a while because I've got another channel now. Um, if you just type Thomas Demerson into YouTube, it's my vlogging channel. I mean, I don't post many vlogs up there, but I post regular, more regular on there than I do on this channel. So yeah. A few years ago, I uploaded a video about the soon to be revealed iPhone 5, and I wanted to do a, another video on the iPhone 8 or iPhone X, the 10th anniversary iPhone. So, we're because the reason why I haven't done it with the obviously the iPhone 6 and the 6s and the iPhone 7 is because they're all very similar. Like the iPhone 5 and yeah, the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 6 is okay. You know, that was a nice change. Uh, it had a bigger screen, especially with the iPhone 7 or iPhone Plus models like I have here. Here I'm um, with my iPhone 7 Plus. Um, but, put that point aside, I wanted to make a video on the new 10th anniversary iPhone that they're bringing out. So, years ago, they released the iPhone 5 and I made a video just before the reveal and the leaks and all the stuff and everything in there was very, very close to what the actual would being in fact exactly the same. Um, and I have a good feeling about this one as well. They did the same with the iPhone 7, for example. They knew way back that it was going to have a dual camera lens. And 
it, apart from the colour change, it's pretty much the same phone. Um, therefore, I'm going to talk about the iPhone 8 today. Now, um, if you're used to Touch ID and uh, all the other gadgets like that, Touch ID in your home button, then if you're buying the iPhone 8, there's going to be a lot to get used to. Uh, iOS 11 runs a thing, it's got a little bar at the bottom of the screen. This is a rumoured gesture, but we'll find out in about an hour or two, because this is when Apple reveals their new iPhone. So, this is, so the new home button, or whatever they revealed last year, where this is not actually a button, I reckon last year when they said um, they're going to review it, then that's it. So this is going. This is no longer going to be a thing, and this is all going to be screened down here. I'm going to get a photo of the new iPhone 8, and what it's originally looked like, because uh, my, there's loads of videos on the internet about how the iPhone 7 is going to look, but I'm just going to express my opinion, and experience with the OLED displays, if this display is going to be an OLED display. So, all the Samsung Galaxy line, and some of the HTCs, some of the, most of the modern Android phones have OLED displays. Apple has fell behind on the OLED displays and is still sticking to LCD at this current moment. I mean, the new iPhone 7, 8, or new iPhone X, or 10th anniversary iPhone, is rumoured to have the OLED display. And as you can quite clearly see, it's very, very nice. Like, there's the middle, the iPhone 8, or iPhone X, uh, the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, you see, you've got the, the bezels on the iPhone 7 Plus and all you've got is a little speaker thing on the iPhone 8. Now, I don't know whether this is going to be true because it could be rumours or it could be anything. I will find out later on. But, and this is meant to be the back, they're also dumping the rose gold colour. They're no longer going to have a rose gold iPhone. It's going to be available in black, white and this pinkish colour. Red, maybe product red, I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping they do do a product red on this iPhone. But it looks absolutely amazing guys. I mean, it's, I'm not too keen. I, people are really excited about this. But personally I'm not too keen on that little sensor bar at the top. I would rather them just do a little tiny, tiny bezel there. And then you've got the uh, maybe I wasn't too bothered about the Touch ID sensor being on the back either, as you still got the option for Touch ID, and you also got your Face ID, which is going to be a bit less secure than Touch ID. Maybe might not work as well as Touch ID, but with owning the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 7, uh, I got used to Touch ID, and also the iPhone 5X. Um, I got used to Touch ID, which was a great upgrade for me. I love the Touch ID. It's a great thing. I love the new home button on the iPhone 7. Uh, so, I don't know what to think of the new iPhone 8, but until I actually try one, I don't know what it's going to be like. Another thing is, I hope, as you know, on the new iPad 10.5 and the new iPad 12.9 inch lineup, like the new iPad Pro lineup, they have the touch screen 120 hertz, which they call the common board of the toilet, but I'll just research it. But yeah, it has the 120 hertz display, which is very, very, very good. I, I love the new. This is what I am currently recording on right now. I'm recording on my iPad Pro 10.5 inch, and I picked. I use my iPad iPad Pro 10.5 inch um, daily, and. Every time I use my iPad Pro 10.5 inch, my iPhone 7 or 7 Plus feels really, really sluggish because this display only runs at 60 hertz. So it's. I really hope they do include the 120 hertz display in the new iPhone. If so, the iPhone 7s Plus. I've heard they're also going to be releasing. They could be releasing the certain model they could be releasing. They could be releasing the iPhone 7S and the iPhone 7S Plus and then the iPhone X or iPhone exclusive as they're rumoured to come out. Or they could be releasing the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone X. Now, personally, if any, 
I will not go for the 7S plus or the 7S because I've already got the iPhone 7 Plus. So there'll be no point in me upgrading to the iPhone 7S. But the iPhone X may be an possibility. And also the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 8 Plus if they do do that. If they carry on with this nice bezel-less display. <clears throat> now it looks really good in leaks, especially if you get the black finish. I mean, I prefer black phones anyway, they, I think they look a lot more sleek, like the iPhone 7 for example, it looks flawless, I mean, I love the iPhone 7, um, but that aside, um, the iPhone 7, you know, the iPhone is, as I said, lacking in a few years, so what are they going to do about the iPhone 7 8? I mean, I'm really intrigued to find out, the rumours, as I say, are really, really intriguing, but yeah, as I say, I hope they, in, they include the 120 hertz display. Also, the, the face ID. There's have been a few leaks on the internet and a few recognition that like everything Apple Pro, all them like big tech guys have been digging and digging for rumors on the iPhone. And they found out that the touch ID is a little animation on the internet uh, that I found. So I'm really, really, really intrigued to what um, Tim's going to release on the iPhone today and. Let's see what he does. Let's see what it's like. I mean, I'm going to be streaming the event uh, at six o'clock UK time, as I live in the UK. Um, but yeah, let's find out. Let's find out. So, thank you for watching. I'm very sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, but as I say, um, follow my new channel, which is Tom Jody Vlogs. Um, here we go. I'm just going to show you. Uh, so there's my new channel. And it's just typing Thomas Dennison into YouTube, and then you'll be able to see my new vlog channel. Uh, I upload probably about monthly on a monthly basis. I've uploaded quite a few videos on there so far. So subscribe, stay subscribed. Thank you for watching. So that's going to wrap up today's vlog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed. See you later.